Hey guys, my name is Leslie Smith. I will be presenting my visual art analysis for my art appreciation class. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get started. Um, I will wait until the end to give my interpretation of the art that I am analyzing. Uh, so a quick quote from Pablo Picasso, the meaning to life is to find your gift. The purpose of life is to give it away. Some insight about Pablo, uh, he was born in Spain and spent most of his adult life in France. At a very young age, Pablo displays astonishing talent towards art. Pablo was one of the founders of Cubism. Cubism, um, in Cubist paintings, objects are broken apart and reassembled in an abstract form, highlighting their geometric shapes and depicting the object from multiple viewpoints at once to create a collage-like effects. So the timeline of Cubism, um, one is Proto-Cubism from 1906 to 1908, um, two, analytic cubism was from 1909 to 1914, and then three, the synthetic cubism was from 1914 to 1921. So the piece that I'll be talking about is The Girl Before a Mirror, painted by Pablo Picasso. He painted it in 1942, and he used oil paint for this masterpiece. So the tone, I believe, the left side is a vibrant, colorful tone. And then on the right side is illustrated as a dark tone. The colors that was used, the woman looking in the mirror, consists mainly of pale tans, greens, white, and black. The woman in the mirror used blue, green, and dark jeweled color tones. Um, both of the women in the painting um, have muted pastel colors. The line and forms, uh, Pablo employs fragmented angular lines. For instance, the facial features of the woman are portrayed by blending sharp geometric lines deviating from the usual or traditional art presentation. Pablo used thick black line formation for the bodies and face that keeps the painting well balanced. Forms are used to draw the viewer's eyes across the canvas were circular shapes repeating throughout the work are compensated by the pattern of diagonal lines of uh, the background. So my interpretation um, of the girl before a mirror is when the woman looks at herself in the mirror, she is seeing herself as an old woman from the green discoloration on her forehead darkening of her facial features to the lines that show that her young body has been distorted and gravity has taken its uh, rightful place. Another way of viewing the painting is that she is self-conscious and she sees all the flaws in herself that the world doesn't see. Alright guys, and uh, that's my full analysis and I appreciate your time. Thanks.